everybody, and welcome to some Gauntlet's Dark Legacy. I was just admiring the epicness of the music out here in the overworld. I don't know how easy it is to hear that, but it's pretty good. I like it. We like it. We're powering through a little bit of this. Oh. Okay. Something in here is very useful and valuable. What's in there? Oh, is this where the book is? I think this is where the book is. Never mind, it's an ice axe. Um, what's troubling is I haven't found any rune stones in here yet. And um, by this time on the last levels, I had found a couple of rune stones, I think. So, I, I feel like I might have missed him, but who knows. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff happening here, isn't there? I can't get rid of that guy. Oh wait, he's here! What the hell? Well, that was interesting. So I got the x-ray glasses. But, uh... What am I x-raying? They, see, they give me this stuff, and it's like, you know... Who cares if I have it? Can't use it on anything. God, that's why I missed that GameCube version. The GameCube version was... So... It's kind of like what Duke Nukem 64 was, and Duke Nukem 3D and all that. Like, there were several uh, versions of the game released for consoles and things like that. And 64 was, like, the best version of the game released, besides 3D, arguably. Um, okay, cool. Because 3D, to me, was great. But I think 64, like, brought it to the next level. It, it said, hey, this is a good game, but... We're going to make a great game with it. Um, I think both versions are incredible, you know what I mean? Um, but, like, the PlayStation 1 version was kind of tough to play. Um, and I think there was one for Sega as well, which is fine, but, you know, again, kind of tough to play. They added, like, different things, you know, new levels, new weapons... You know, that kind of stuff. So, pretty cool. But um, they took the music out of the 64 version. So, what they had in, like, great playability and stuff and, like, added extra stuff in, they took the music out and some of the graphics that were really, really good, the visuals. So, I am upset about that. This game, however, there's great things that they have in for the PlayStation version. And then the Nintendo version has great things. But, like... It's not like a give and take where, oh, yeah, I could do without this or, you know, do without that. Like, you know, the music in Duke Nukem is great, but I don't need it to, you know, I don't need it necessarily to play a good shooter game. It just kind of adds to the atmosphere. Um, this, however, I could really use, um, <laughs> I could really use an item select. I mean, that's a pretty big deal to not have. Extra characters. Pretty cool. So it's weird that both versions have, like, a different, you know, thing going on for them. I bet this is a bomb. Oh, no, it's fucking meat. Hell yeah. I need that. Is there anything over here? Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's go. I know there's, like, earlier versions of Gauntlet, and I've never played any of them, but I'd love to at some point. I just ate fruit, apparently. Don't know how. I didn't see anything. It's like one of the freaking darkest games I've ever played. Like I'm playing Phasmophobia or something. Get out of here. Alright. Yeah, get in there. Is this the big guy? Oh, okay, yeah, he's stepping around. It's hard to tell with some of these dudes who's who. I mean, because some of those level 3 guys look... Uh, uh, they, they look kind of similar to... What the hell do I do here? 
Is it just two gates in the same place? I think it literally is just two gates to the same place. Yeah, okay. I don't know, man. Game's weird. Ooh. Ham. I want all that food. Oh, something just opened over there. You hear that? I heard a secret open. Oh, wow, he's dead. Good for me. I guess it was this. And then that will raise up. These are getting... A, they're, they're very straightforward levels. I will say that. So they're not super complicated or anything. But that being said, I am having a tough time keeping up with where I'm going. Oh, God. I like how my axe was, like, drawing me into uh, the... The spike trap there. Pretty fun. Yeah, get out of here. Alright, what's that say? Death awaits you in the shower. Fantastic. Well, there's that. That's quite helpful. Was there a key over here? Oh, no, okay. I'm afraid of walking blindly into, um... God, look at all those chests over there. I'm afraid of walking blindly into, um... Like, another gate. <clears throat> and, like, uh... <clears throat> wasting a key that I don't need to waste, you know? It's always an unfortunate feeling. Can I walk on that? Oh, man, I was hoping. Obviously. Just kill a couple of those guys. Kill a couple of those guys. Maybe use a turbo. I mean, by the time I come back over there, turbo should be pretty good. Pretty goodly charged. <laughs> Not the goodly. Now let's go in here. Stepping on spikes. That's what I do. Alright, there's the death in the shower. Now, I really hope there's a death protection because... A death protection would be fantastic. Wow, he is taking zero damage. Now he's not. I, I don't know. I guess it was just because he didn't, like, awaken yet. Oh, there's death right next to me, actually. I just realized he's right there. All right. You hear that oboe just going off? Or uh, not oboe, clarinet. Clarinet and the music's just going off, dude. Oh, he's out. He sucked my experience right out of me. That is annoying. Oh, man. See, that's the crazy thing about this game. Like, they thought of some really wild things. Like, it sucks experience out of you. Unreal. I level up and then lose that level right away. I'm very fast. Oh, come on. It auto-aims, like, at everything except... Ooh, a little gold. I like it. Gold, yes. What's in here? Uh, well, gold feather. That's nice. We'll take that. Oh, what the hell? What the fuck was the point of that? <laughs> what the hell did I just open that up for? Just broke the stairs. All right, well, let's go back. It's the wrong way. Where, where do I go? Where do I go? Oh, over here? Yeah, just that, like, blackness right there. That's where I go to get up, apparently. There you go. Man, that must have sucked a lot of experience out of me. What is this? Oh. Okay. What is the fucking point of that? 
<laughs> it seems so useless. I mean, everything's auto aim anyway, so like. Dude, look at that. There's poison. There's an explosive barrel. And fruit. Alright, there you go. Oh, I gotta go on the other side of that. Okay, that's fine. Whoops. Oh, whoops, not like this. What are you doing? I saw that reflective shot on. Interesting. That bubbly cauldron, I like the way that sounds. I don't know, I always love the sound of, like, bubbling stuff. Like, when macaroni and cheese is cooking, or, like, pasta in general, I guess, is boiling. Ah, oh, it's such a good sound. Okay, there's a chest there that's... I don't know where it is, but it's somewhere. Where actually is that chest? It's over... God! Dude, they are really blowing my backtracking out. I know that was the title of the last video, but, like, they really are. It's a hammer. Okay. This time I won't carelessly use it. I'm not leaving here until I get that, like, secret item also. We got to make sure we get that. Ah, it ruined it. I'm getting my money's worth of this hammer. That is for sure. Oh, it opened something secret up over there. Okay. Cool. So I heard that. Wow, you piece of shit. <laughs> Not the poison fruit. Oh, a key. Oh, okay. Definitely wanted to open that up then. But I was not going to waste a whole Thor's hammer just to open up a barrel that I could literally freaking hit with the weakest attack. All right. Another Keenus. Uh, we got a death trap in here. Oh, God. Just blow up, please. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you blowing up. All right, so that's down there. A lot of explosive barrels along the way here. That's kind of interesting. I'm not quite sure why. <laughs> it's making me a little nervous. Oh, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little nervous about this. God damn it. That is ridiculous. That is actually ridiculous. Gotta be careful, that's all. It's kind of levitate. I guess that's kind of useful. On a map with a lot of traps. Although, if we passed all the traps, does it matter now? Can't say that it does. Just be grateful of what you have. Please. I think, I think there's a, hmm, I was going to say, I think there are two ways I can go here. Can I go that, oh no, I can't go this way. This is all back here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, well, there's traps right there. Never mind. I, <laughs> I'm walking over them. I don't even notice them because I'm walking over them. Well, wait, I didn't get the thing though. I didn't get the thing I need. All right, we got to go back and look for that, I think. Because I I really... Okay. I really want that axe. That axe, though. Another key. Or do I have to continue on? Ooh. Yeah, those guys. They thought they could fool me. I knew it, though. All right, I think at that bubbly cauldron place, 
was the ice axe. Um, I think. So I'm just going to backtrack a little bit. Where the fuck do I go? <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to backtrack a little bit and see uh, if I can actually find it. Maybe... Maybe I missed something? I don't know. How far back do I have to go, though? These levels aren't entirely huge or anything like that, you know? So it, it doesn't take too long to get here and there. Um, and if I can't find it, I'll just look it up. If I can't just find it, like, right away or something. Ow, bastard. All right, so it was in here, wasn't it? That cutscene, did it show this? Maybe it didn't show this. I, I don't know. Maybe it was showing a different level. I th oh, God. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll we'll pick this up next time. We'll do the last level and see what's up. Or second, I don't know how many levels there are left. I think there's actually two more. So. I'm very confused. I don't know where these rune stones are either. I haven't seen any rune stones. There's all kinds of stuff. Okay. Every time I get hit by the uh, traps, my skin crawls for some reason. I don't know why. I told you, like, this storm... I record all these on the same day, and there's a storm that's been hanging out outside and... Hanging out. Yeah, the storm's just chilling outside. Um, you hear that? So there was something on there and I missed it. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, so I gotta I gotta go back in there and I gotta go back in there and grab the ice axe at some point. <clears throat> That's fine though, we can do that. Um I'm gonna save my money. And I'm going to save the game. And we'll pick this up next time. I'll look that up real quick. And see what the hell's going on here. Um, but yeah, guys. Thank you for hanging out as always. I appreciate you. I appreciate... Hanging out and just doing the thing. Oh man, I enjoy this so much. Guys, you have no idea the amount of enjoyment I get out of doing this with y'all. But anyway, thank you for everything. I will see you in the next one. Have a good one, y'all.